Hi, this is a science video that I made for my Genius Hour project. So the question I had initially chosen to research was, what are some of the weirdest ways elements have been discovered? But upon googling that, the main thing that came up was how scientists shot protons at different elements until something happened. Which is interesting, sure, but it wasn't quite what I was hoping for. So I decided to change my question to simply, what are some of the coolest slash strangest elements? Which gave me many more results. First up is gallium, a soft silvery metal that was discovered in Paris by... I cannot pronounce this. Google Translate, go. Paul-Emile Lecoq de Bois-Baudron. Thanks, Google Translate. Who found it in some zinc he was studying. Fun fact, the name gallium comes from the Latin word for France, which is gallia. Gallium is used in thermometers, electronic circuits, LEDs, barometers, and pharmaceuticals. The really interesting thing about gallium, though, is its melting point which is only 85.5 degrees Fahrenheit. The average human body temperature is around 98.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Do you see what I'm getting at here? Do you see? You can melt this stuff in your hands, that's what I'm saying. And it's non-toxic, so you can just, like, hold liquid metal in your hands. I think we should do this in science at some point, please. <laughs> Next up is curium, identified by Glenn Seaborg, Ralph James, and Albert Giorso in 1994. That's not 1994. That's 1944. What am I saying? I can't read. Curium is a dense silvery white metal that was created by shooting a bunch of particles at plutonium. It is extremely radioactive and often attacks the bones, stopping the formation of red blood cells and leading to cancer and death. Also, it glows in the dark, so that's pretty cool. And last of all is neon, the only noble gas on this list. In fact, it's the only thing I researched that wasn't some kind of metal. Neon is a colorless, odorless gas that was discovered by William Ramsey and Morris Travers, who found it in a frozen argon sample they were studying. It is used in vacuum tubes, television tubes, and helium neon lasers, though the main thing it's known for are these fancy signs, which work by applying electricity to neon, which is trapped in a glass tube. The electricity causes the neon to light up bright reddish orange. Neon can only be that color, which means neon signs of any other color aren't actually made with neon. They're made using other gases, such as argon, blue, mercury, which makes a white, light blue, green color, and helium, which is yellow. Also, liquid neon is used in cryogenic refrigerants, which is also super cool. Uh, and yeah, that's what I learned. There's a ton of really interesting elements on the table. It's fun to do some extra digging to find out more about them.